movers and shakers in the art world gathered at Sotheby's last night for an auction that included works from Jeff Koons and Andy Warhol. But as our Bloomberg reporter describes it, the auction results were tepid. The tally was the lowest in two years. She is with us, Katia Kazakina. Uh, and uh, what happened last night? What happened was that the estimates were too aggressive for the quality of works that Sotheby's had, and the buyers really pushed back. They didn't want to pay. They knew what the value of the works were, and they just didn't want to overpay. Is that a Sotheby's problem, or is that a, a problem with the auction houses? I think we're days? seeing it pretty much across the auction houses, the, and, and impressionist and modern sales last week, as well as last sale at Sotheby's. The quality is not quite there, and the estimates are too aggressive. But, but why is that? Why are, they, why are they aggressively estimating these pieces? Because in the past year, in, in 2010, the art market really rebounded very quickly and there was a lot of buying. There were some strong results and the auction, auction houses probably got ahead of themselves a little bit and uh, they thought the market was there, okay. but it's not. Um, we've been talking a lot about the Pink Panther one. I want to bring up uh, the Andy Warhol paintings, right? The, uh, the, the, all the images of Jackie O. Um, that's an example of one that basically got market price? It did, really, because it was assembled from individual pieces. So there were 16 jackets pulled together by the collector, Peter Brandt, with the help of Jeff Koons, actually. And then so the, the market really saw it as 16 individual works. And they're sold from $800,000 to $1.2 million okay. on the market. So when you divide it, the result with the bias premium was one3 so the Liz Taylor one tomorrow, that's going to be auctioned tomorrow, by yes. Steve Cohen, right? Exactly. Or owned by Steve yes. Cohen. Yes. Is that going to do well? Not well? Who knows? <laughs> but by all, indica all indications? You know, I mean, it, is it's that really, aggressively priced? You know, there was a, there actually, uh, uh, there was a, a result in, in this price range. Uh, Liz, similar Liz, sold by Hugh Grant a few years ago. Uh, so there is a precedent for this. Whether the market thinks that this particular Liz is worth it. We're going to have to see. Okay. Uh, as, and as you, I know you saw Eli Broad there and others, uh, yeah, other yeah, billionaires it was who. Room. It just was the bidding was not quite there. All right. Katia, thank you very much. Of Appreciate course. it. Katia Kazakina uh, from Bloomberg News talking about the Sotheby's auction.